Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Wong, I'm USTEP Product Manager, and today I'm proud to introduce our latest metric, Impact Load. Impact Load is the sum of the intensities created from every impact measured at the lower limbs during an I'm USTEP session. This linear metric is directly comparable between limbs, drills, activities, sessions and athletes within IMU STEP. Impact Load is a great tool for getting a quick overview of load for the session, as well as deep diving to investigate the loading outcomes from different activities. When looking at a session card, the total impact load of a session represents the combined impact load from both the left and right legs. On selection of a session, you can inspect the left and right leg differences for impact load alongside step count and bone stimulus in the session breakdown area. This is an example of a 5 km run. The shaded area in the first graph represents the impact load for the right and left legs and accumulates over time as more steps are taken. The line represents impact load per minute for both the left and right legs and can be interpreted as how fast impact load is accumulating or the rate at which impact load is accumulating. You can see a separation in impact load with the right leg accumulating more than the left leg and this message is reciprocated in the impact load per minute line graph with the right leg having a higher impact load per minute than the left. This is most likely due to me landing harder on my right leg than my left. If we brush to just the run itself, we can see that the step counts are very similar, therefore the impact load must differ because the size of each impact generated by each step must be larger on average on the right leg versus the left. The higher intensity a step, the more it will contribute to impact load. We can filter out all low and medium intensity steps to paint a picture of where our high intensity steps are occurring and how much they are contributing to the overall impact load. In this case, high intensity steps contribute to a very large proportion of impact load on the right leg versus the left leg. We can also see that the right leg is consistently producing more high intensity steps. Looking at the asymmetry tree, we can see this pattern spread across all the intensity bins and looking at the left-right difference, it is obvious that I am right leg dominant when running. The purpose of impact load is to enable you to answer any loading questions you may have for your athlete, such as, between drill A and drill B, which was of higher load on my athlete? Or, what was the total impact load sustained by my athlete today and how does that compare to other training days? Or, there is a difference in impact load between the left and right limbs for my athlete is this an expected representation of their current form? If so, how is this reflected in the asymmetry graph? Hopefully this has provided insight into how you may be able to use impact load to further analyze athlete load and consequently formulate your own training decisions based on objective measured data from IMU STEP. If you have any questions or requests, please head to support.imeju.com. In the meantime, happy measuring everyone.